Hello, this is Fair, the reading for The Collective. I'm definitely picking up on some very strange energy, maybe projections. Um, it's, uh, I don't know if someone wants you to feel like you're not good enough, or someone wants you to doubt yourself, or, you know, give up, or let go, or something like that. There's some real negative energy here. Death. Six of Swords. Wow. Oh, uh, yeah. That Six of Swords, an ending, almost like where you leave yourself. Um, this is an ending, though. Someone is leaving, is the energy. With Death and Six of Swords, this could be a physical transition. Three of Pentacles, Six of Swords. Something about a group of people here. Three of Swords reverse. Overcoming some type of heartache. You're you're leaving. Someone's stuck. Someone is. Okay, there's some sort of reckless energy here. Someone who feels unloved. No spark, lifeless, dull, doing something reckless here, hiding it. But they're in a nightmare and karma is playing out. Focus on you and your happiness and this loving energy you have or that someone loves you. Um... Knight of Cups reverse. This is someone who's very insincere. It's like someone can't get in your space. They feel like they can't get in your space. You're too balanced and healing. Ace of Cups reverse. You don't love someone. Someone doesn't love someone. Three of Wands reverse. Six of Wands. Someone feels like you won and nothing's coming in for them. Um. Knight of Cups reverse. I feel like I saw it coming out this way and then it land in the reverse. So something to do with who's happy versus who isn't happy. Someone not wanting to let go of something. Someone feeling really, really regretful. They can't return to the past. They made a mistake. Um, and they can't defend themselves either. They're in a tower. Um, Chariot reverse. They don't know how to, to control the situation. There's some sort of a two of cups here. It could be in a two of cups. Someone wants out of a nightmare watching you in a two of cups or wants to be a two of cups with you. Someone feels defeated here. Um, someone that wanted to win at all costs. Six of pentacles reverse. Someone could feel like they need to beg. They could be struggling financially. Maybe they want to come back, but this is somebody that tried to block block you or make something unfair regarding this star energy of yours, something that is like ingrained in you. Uh, I feel like this is connected to your North Node and wishes coming true. This is a King of Pentacles reverse. Someone that um, is watching the Wheel of Fortune in the upright for you. This is someone who makes choices based on money, appearances, they could even do uh, things, you know, financial corruption. Uh, they see you as this queen of pentacles and it's like they, they went the wrong way with it. They're looking at you and your stability and something really working out for you. Positive changes here, the star energy, queen of pentacles, uh, very grounded, um, diligent, maybe, you know, yeah actualizing something here in a very solid way someone that someone feels like they'd like to have you in their camp but this is somebody that took something from you or tried to stop you from <sighs> receiving something that's fair eight of cups someone's watching you walk away um so, something is over someone's walking away someone could be walking away from a situation um a third party situation or a group 
six of swords reversed or they, they want to or they feel like you walked away and they're stuck in a drama. Someone's stuck in a drama here. Hermit, they're thinking very deeply. They're alone, thinking very deeply about a breakup, some sort of stalking that you went through. Someone breaking up with you and then there being a def defamation, slander, smear campaign that you overcame. And now they're stuck in that drama. Someone could be investigating it as well. Ace of Swords, the Tower, the truth is shocking. The truth is shocking. And I don't know if this is an, another person here, but I feel like this is you. The truth is shocking about what happened and also shocking that you managed to stay so balanced. and someone else is in a nightmare. It's just the irony of it. It was meant for you, and someone else is in a nightmare. They're in a tower and a nightmare because of this truth. People could be finding out what someone did. Eight of Pentacles, they're worried about work. Leading to a Ten of Pentacles, an Eight of Pentacles leading to a Ten of Pentacles tower. Someone is worried about you being, um, you have these healthy boundaries and you're focused on work and it's what you're building or who will collaborate with you, especially with this truth, or they wish that they would have collaborated with you because they see you as very, you know, grounded. Um, Bus business savvy or smart um, or someone to collaborate with or someone sees you as this, Queen of Pentacles star energy and the truth is coming out. Someone's either having a revelation about who you are or there's some shocking communication, shocking news. It's shocking that you're getting a yes, yes answer. It's shocking that you're clear minded. It's sh the truth about a situation. What happened is shocking uh, the truth about who you are, your capabilities. I don't know why it would be so shocking, but someone's shocked. Um, and it has to do with you working, you putting the effort in, you focused on detail, you expanding your skills. Um, okay. There could be a masculine energy that wants to come in um, and, and meet you halfway. It feels like that is a leader here or that has their eye on you. I don't know if this is work. It's, it's, it's work. There could be love here. This person could be also taking some sort of action um, regarding a truth about what happened and someone can't defend themselves because someone has receipts, it feels like. This could be a big fight going on behind the scenes. Somebody met their match. Somebody met their match, a magician. There's an emperor out here that's a magician energy that is manifesting something here on your behalf. I feel like this is the kind of person that, I feel like this is the kind of person that um, has a very um, chivalrous masculine energy you know, like someone who, it sounds like, it's like an archetype, someone who would say, you know, why don't you pick on someone your own size, or, you know, I don't know if that's the right thing to say, because you're very, you know, you're very powerful, but it's like a masculine thing, it's like, you know, because someone is attacking someone or attacked someone here that's very loving and sweet, a feminine energy, and there's a masculine energy here that's a leader, a master manifester, very strong, who is almost like taking up the battle, and it could be energetic, or they're, I don't know exactly how they're doing it. Someone could be worried that you're going to work with this person, or they're going to help you. 
or help you get on track with, with something you're working on. So I feel like it's your energy and this person's energy as well, though. But I do feel like it's like a, a metaphor would be, or an analogy would be, you know, um, a bully trying to, you know, a thief trying to steal, steal, uh, you know, a woman's purse and a guy who is a foot taller, you know, grabs the guy by the collar and picks him up with the arm, his, his arm, just one arm, you know, and then hangs him up by his collar so that when the sunlight comes up, everyone, you know, sees what he did, you know, like, replays the, the footage over and over and over. He has a video camera. He replays the footage over and over again, just underneath where the guy's hanging, hanging there in the morning, you know, for everyone to see. It's got that kind of a feeling to it. Um, yeah. And, and there's, yeah, there, it's like connected to some sort of a truth here. Outcome. Queen of Wands. It's like somebody has been trying to put out your fire, stop you from being seen, or attack you because of the way you, you look. There's definitely something about a very sweet and attractive feminine energy enigmatic, creative, confident, you know, somebody trying to put out your fire or stop you from being seen or, you know, play games or play dirty behind the scenes, maybe with a group of people here. And this is like, this is someone clearing the way for you. Yeah. This person could be in love. Um, or, or news is traveling very quickly about a group of people. that were involved in something here. Um, and your um, independence or how you remade yourself or made yourself. Yeah, it's like some sort of situation where you got left out in the cold. You got left out in the cold and Yeah, this feels like a partnership. Someone here didn't listen to their better judgment and they're in a tower. Someone did something very reckless. I feel like someone's getting exposed and, and like hung up by their collar, you know. Their hat is all crumpled. They look dehydrated. They're hanging from a light pole, you know. Everyone knows what they did. They have to witness everybody, you know, seeing them. Yeah, a bully. Um, someone who was trying to bully an angel. Bully a very angelic person. Someone doesn't like it. I feel like there's a masculine energy here who doesn't like it. Yeah, there's a masculine energy in the upright here. Like a very supportive masculine energy, a leader. Father figure energy. Um, it's not like, you know, this. let me see you fight now. That's what I'm getting. Someone didn't use good judgment. I feel like there's someone here, you know, was trying to play God in your life and there's someone else here that you could be an artist or someone that thinks in a very abstract way. So it's kind of like you're very kind and sweet and enigmatic. And then you also think in an abstract way. So someone feels like somebody was trying to take advantage of the way that you navigate as well. Um, night reverse. There's someone here, though, that is 
like a love bomber or something like that that gave away their power. Someone here is looking into this. Looking into this person. Someone, there's someone here who feels or felt very, um, someone gave their power away to a feminine energy that's very, um, overly attached to money and power. Someone felt invincible doing something here. Someone's looking into this. Um, it has to do with a network of people all focused on an angelic person. Yeah, there's some sort of very hedonistic situation. There's something about someone's innocence here. They're trying to rob someone of their pure, pure energy. Um, someone trying to stop someone from being the feminine expressed through wisdom nature, life force, and sensuality. I feel like someone is like very protective over this feminine energy is what it feels like. Yeah, someone was trying to destroy someone. It's just becoming very clear. Someone, someone here that's a feminine energy trying to destroy another feminine energy or someone trying to destroy a feminine energy Someone here could be a writer as well. There could be something about money and writing or someone writing something, something about a contract. Someone working behind the scenes. Someone taking some type of a gamble with or for this feminine energy who explo exploits the female nature and form. There's something about someone trying to pretend to be innocent as well. That's a gossip. Someone was talking about you. They could have been writing things down about you. Or there could be something very important about what you write or what someone was writing. Writing something down. Messaging. Maybe writing things online or messaging people. Yeah, dilettante energy. Somebody here that is very entitled and pretentious toward you. It's like someone who wanted to destroy. I mean, I feel like you're a very angelic person that's artistic. And there's someone here who it's like they had some sort of position where it's like they wanted you to be judged. They were trying to play God in your life and dictate where you go. Trying to destroy you. Yeah, destroy an artist. I'm pretty sure you're an artist. And there's someone here. Um, a lot of time when I see this damsel card, I feel like it's somebody who's pretending to be innocent to manipulate people. But I feel like in this case, there's someone here that, you know, is very chivalrous that... It's not that you're, it's not, um, there's, there's not pity here. It's that someone feels like it was an uneven playing field. And it's like, why don't you pick on someone your own size? It's like somebody sees you as sweet and good and kind. And I feel like there's someone here that is operating on your behalf. Maybe they, they witnessed something or they know something about a masculine energy who left you to the wolves here for someone that they were following. Yeah, a Don Juan type of character. Um, very hedonistic situation. Um, someone trying to um, negotiate behind the scenes. Um, some sort of gamble that someone took, but, um, whatever this was, trying to play God in your life, there's someone here that's a, um, a leader or a guide, or someone sees you as a guide, or this is someone that 
represent the nature of the divine. They, they see the divine in themselves and in everything. Um, or someone now wants, it, it does feel like someone wants something from you that wasn't able to sabotage you. This is someone that might want help, but that refused to help you. Um, this could have been a friend or someone that was a companion. It's like because you didn't allow you be you were very stable in um, in spite of this situation. Something about a group that fell apart here. I don't think it's just about someone helping you, um, you know, or you, it's like masculine feminine energy. There's some sort of a, a two of cups or a partnership. I don't know if you've met this person. This is someone working on your behalf, but it, it does have a lot to do with what you have manifested here. Um, so the problem is someone doesn't love someone, um, but someone is wants to love bomb or someone feels empty inside. Yeah, I feel like someone wants help. Someone's daydreaming about help or helping you. like now that you now that you um you know moved away from a situation and you're stable and and you have like a sense of stability or uh and oh clarity someone wants to come towards you I feel like this person wants to stop your triumph. They want to get out of a nightmare and also stop you. Someone could be telling someone what to do about making a promise to you. Or it's almost like they want your help. There could be a family involved. Someone's wearing a mask. Someone's really stressed because someone wouldn't couldn't tempt or bribe someone. There's a group of people involved here. There's some sort of a clique or people were trying to do something here to This is like some other plot. I feel like this just happened. What's this Knight of Cups person intending to do? Chariot reverse. Promise. Someone wants to make you a promise. They want to end the conflict. This is someone that some strategy failed with a third wheel. They see you gaining. Um, they could feel real, real paranoid here. Something about something fated and marriage. They want to get out of a trap. This could be... I feel like this is an ex that wants to come towards you. They're worried that you're going to get married. Oh yeah, yeah, I just heard a ding. Yeah. This is someone that did something very unjust to you. With a family. And it didn't work. They were trying to take something from you. This good fortune, this reward, this jackpot. Very, very stressed to see you gain something here. Um, someone couldn't take something from you. Six of Pentacles reverse. I feel like this person feels like they need to beg from beg 
through the star energy in the near future. Stop. They're feeling really stagnant. I don't know if they're trying to create stagnancy for you. This person's wearing a mask. They haven't learned anything and they're disturbed. Watching you gain. It's like they don't have whatever this energy is, this idea, this creativity, this something doesn't originate with them. I don't know if they forfeited it or or what, but it's like they feel like they need need whatever this is. Um, someone wants to come towards you. They see you walking away, Eight of Cups. Which is like they're losing the gift. Um, it's like they wasted all their time indulging in some situation. Um, they feel disappointed. They feel like they wasted their life. They feel like something is faded here or that they, you know... They're having positive memories. They're remembering how everything was. Um, and they feel like they lost something here that's a treasure that's connected to you. And they want to get out of a nightmare. Whoever this is comes across as somebody that's stuck in a drama. Um, there could be someone investigating this group here, some type of stalking or slander. Or someone's thinking deeply about some sort of stalking or slander. A couple, a couple that was involved in something here. Um, someone doesn't want to take a loss. But they're not learning anything. They, they didn't learn anything. There's some sort of an alliance here of people. Um, they're off schedule. Watching you gain. Focus on your goals. And they feel worried about it. Someone here has positive memories of you. And they weren't able to take something from you. There's definitely something about stalking or slander here. A collaboration of people. Um, in exchange for an adventure. And a treasure. Um, they see you gaining and calm with inner peace. Um, I don't think these people are getting along very well. Someone feels lonely in a relationship. Um, it's all a disaster. Someone felt it's like they want to work with you to create this Ten of Pentacles or they're worried you're going to get to work with someone, um, and to begin some type of work with someone, or there's an Emperor energy that's a Master Manifester here that someone feels like you're going to build something with. Fury. It makes them very angry. Um, they didn't help you. Or they don't want someone to help you. Um, someone could feel sick and lonely. In a disaster. Or if that's what someone wanted. They're very disturbed. Someone wanted you sick and lonely in a disaster. And to have lost something here that is your, your vitality, your creativity. Could you try again? Vitality is the capacity to live, grow, or develop. Vitality is also the characteristic that distinguishes living from non-living things. Would you like to hear more? No. I think it's interesting that the difference between living and non-living things just really... I found that striking to be part of the, the definition. Someone sees you winning. Um, they, they, they're not so stubborn about something now. And it has to do with overindulging in a situation. And now they're real stressed. They see that you're not overloaded. You're calm. And you practice self-love, self-care. 
Um, I just feel like this person's having trouble. It's disturbing. They don't have the tools to redeem themselves or something like that. And I, there's something they did that's very unjust for a treasure or they feel like your treasure's unf it's unfair. You're this queen of wands in the outcome. Someone wants to compromise with you or there's some type of agreement um, being made in regards to you or you're making an agreement with someone um, and someone can't relax. They weren't able to take something from you. They're extremely stressed. And they're confused. Because you're reaching your goals. Yeah. There's some sort of disturbance connected to not being able to go against you. Or they, they shouldn't have gone against you. And there's a group involved. They feel injured by trying to steal something from you. This treasure, this merit, wow. If you resonate with this message, I hope that it helps. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.